Hello everyone. The agenda of today's session, we are going to start a new series that is GitHub. And GitHub is basically used for the versioning. Like suppose we have created a soft software version one, and after that, sometime we have created a new patch or the uh, latest version or as we have up updating uh, updating uh, something on that uh, software so it's a uh, created the next version of that one so the versioning uh, uh, code source code how can we store and categorize that that is managed by github and through github we also can uh, create the ci cd pipeline so we are uh, going to use this with Google Cloud Platform. So whatever we create on Google pl Cloud Platform like Kubernetes or the uh, pod or deployment services container will use the this one only. So here what we did, this is my uh, GitHub account and inside the GitHub we have, uh, I have created the, these two repository so what you need to do you need to create a github account using any of the google id and inside that you can create a repository just go to the settings and in the setting you will get the repository name over here that is your repository okay or once you uh, open the account create the account with github it will give you the option to create the repository just click here in the repository and from here you can create the repository this is a test environment that's why i have created a public repository but if you are uh, working in a company or anywhere uh, you have to create a private repository so you you need to put the name over here and then you need to choose this git ignore choose which file not be tracked from the list of the of templates so what is the role of git ignore git ignore is basically suppose is a example i'm giving you uh, you have created some codes in git written some code in, in the git over here and after that you use the uh, clone and you cloned it on your laptop and you have increased uh, written some uh, new codes over there so previously you have supposed two files now you have five six files so in that case you use the uh, git ignore choose this file not uh, to track uh, from a list of templates so if you are uploading this or you if you are using a clone in that case it will help you so i'm opening this link for git ignore and once you will provide all the things you need only click on here and it will create a git repository okay so here your repository will be uh, created and now another tool from git is this is a, a git and this one is large file so this is your large file storage so whenever you are using git only you can upload the maximum number of uh, 100 mb file uh, through git post or uh, git commit so in that case if you want to uh, upload a large amount of file more than 100 mb in that case you need to download the git uh, file storage lfs and need to install it so very first thing i will install uh, git and then so very first i have downloaded the git bash and now going to install it on my laptop so and this is my repository in which i am going to work so this is you can see my git over here and next next here let git decided use git from the git bash only okay i will use this git bash only option 
and after that you need to click next 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 and finish so once the installation will done you need to open git bash from your laptop and need to clone it first so the very first step you need to clone your git repo with your laptop okay so let it be installed once the installation is done uh, now the git has been installed and how you want to open the file in more apps i can find the git bash over here or i can search it here so bash you can find the git bash just open it and the very first command after open it you run that pwd so this is showing in i am this one this is the user in which i am running this so so one drive and desktop so i need to go to the this directory because i have created <coughs> that file or my code is stored over there <coughs> cd cd desktop and now pwd is <coughs> i'm my working directory it desktop and inside the desktop i need to go to the gcp this one to this one and cd gcp cd one by one i am showing you so which directory i am going is a gcp kubernetes okay and now again if i will check my working directory would be changed <coughs> so here this is feature in it okay <coughs> and i'm pwd now and i can do one thing from here is a it is I'm renaming this folder k8s <coughs> old okay and the very first step I'm going to do is clear and from here sir get clone and after that i need to go to the git and here is a ssh github i am amit pande k8s git i need to copy this ssh location from here and paste it with the git clone and press enter so it's a cloning my repo warning you appear to be have cloned a empty repo okay because nothing uh, there in that repo so is a empty repo here okay now what i will do i will create one or two files <coughs> and put it in the here in this drive and uh, from this folder i will push it to my git repository in the website so for that i will tell you basic commands and the next video will try to use commit git commit command git add command and the change the origin and how to use the git push and uh, cd so the main command which i am showing here to you that very first command is git status so here it's showing nothing because i have a type of status you can see then it's a you can create a git add git stash so git stash 
dot uh, sh okay <coughs> no local change directory also is a git branch is a showing two branches here okay so these are the uh, things uh, also you can change the branch like it's a feature in it is showing the feature in it branch so you can change it to other branch like command is git check out hyphen b and then main okay branch name main already exist means this is to get the create a branch now use commit or origin is also there to use this and once you create it is a git in it git in it initialization is done so these are the commands or also you can get the commands from here you can try to run it on your environment or your test environment hmm? <coughs> git branch minus m is a main or push origin branch that is that are the commands so these are the basic git commands we will use in our next session or while we create the ci cd or we push the uh, files from our lap laptop to git so see you so see you guys uh, in the next session for github so till then create your environment ready to uh, for the next one okay thank you thanks for watching